All right, here it is. This is what we're looking at today, guys. We have a Dayton Audio DSP. It's a DSP 408. You guys can check it out, look it up. Here's the box. It's a 4-in, 8-out DSP digital signal processor. This actually came from one of the subscribers uh, that we have. I don't know if they really want me to shout them out like that, but they know who they are, so that's awesome. He was watching the videos and he's like, hey, I, I have this sitting around and I think this is what you were talking about. This is what you need. And I was like, oh, wow, it is. Uh, we have the Bluetooth dongle for it. We have uh, the switch for it. Everything's here, even the cable to link it to the computer for PC control. All the powers, the highs, they're all here in the box. Everything's here. That's really awesome, guys. So some of you guys are probably like, okay, well, what is that? It's a digital signal processor. It, this has a 10 band parabolic equalizer in it in layman's terms it has an EQ or an equalizer that you can adjust at any frequency up to I think an extra 24 decibels negative or positive 24 decibel gain or drop with this it does have the Bluetooth dongle you can stream straight into it you can also it has an app for your phone I can hook it right up to my Samsung and download the Android app. Actually, I have it downloaded. Uh, my phone's on the charge now. I haven't picked up the PC software for it yet for the laptop. I don't know if I'll really tune it like that. I may do that initially, but as of right now, I'm just going to work on getting it hooked up and getting it in. So th this will be the sub inputs, and then we'll have the high inputs there. I still have them connected because I'm listening to videos while I work on this and once I get to a certain stage that this is ready we'll run the highs in I believe here let's disconnect this ah oh, those are in there tight that's good okay so this is what we have on it guys this is the high level input here on the far left that's in the box I probably won't be using those that has the power in the remote this is how it turns on the remote there it says REM that is in the high level here to the left it's in that it's the blue wire like you would hook up to your amp we probably won't be using that so we can disregard that the next one is speaker so the high level here if it detects an input from your head deck or whatever you're powering it from that will cause it to turn on uh, and then the other one here is RCA and that's what we will be using we are going to use uh, channel 1 and 2 for the subs and uh, channel 3 and 4 for the highs um, it doesn't need to be done like that necessarily. You can really just use one channel in here per whatever. We're not going to do it like that. Um, I have the 12-volt uh, DC. That's how we're going to actually power the unit itself rather than through the high-level input here. Those would be subs. These two would be highs. I do have the remote. We're going to run that up. Uh, that's really neat, guys. It lights up blue. Uh, we'll show you that. And that's just a PC control. It's a USB cable. I think it's... a the old type, I can't remember what it is, type A, I think, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, that plugs into your laptop, whatever, and then you can tune it, control it. Okay, so this is the other side. There's a USB 3.0 port here, and I do believe that's for the Bluetooth. It says Bluetooth on it, but the Bluetooth is not built in. It's in a dongle. I'll show you that. That's in the box, guys. And then we have our eight channels of output here, guys. So there's what we're going to do. We're going to run channels one two three and four those will go out to the subwoofers and then channel five and six will go off into the high amp we're going to leave channel seven and eight open for now i plan on replacing the high channel amp that's in there right now i'm just running a two channel amp i'm going to replace that with a four channel and when we do that we will run the mids on channel five and six and the highs will go into channel seven and channels eight there and those will run into that those amps so we're gonna get this hooked up guys get this plugged in that's what I'm working on I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna mount it I was thinking maybe here on the back of the seat but uh, that's a lot of RCA's right here on the seat and I'm not sure if they will be free like that from any obstructions that's something to think about also the USB dongles here I don't want to break that off in any way or any of these connections I want to make sure that they're good and safe and out of the way of anything in that they're going to be okay with the seat moving so it may be better to put this someplace that's stationary with the RCA's and that way they don't move with the seats so that's what I was thinking there I'm not really sure I'm gonna need these these are two splitters that we had from the last time I have a 
couple bags of goodies here I'm going to show you guys and uh, we got some more splitters in one of those bags but this is the box that DSP came in I was looking at this, this, this is kind of cool this is the high level input with the remote and the power and everything it comes pre-fused which is pretty cool there's some bracket hardware down in here some double sided tape and some screws it looks like this is the bluetooth dongle that goes into it it says date and audio on it and that's just a cap the cap comes off and it just plugs in over here to the usb it's fairly simple it comes in with the usb cable needed to plug into here to plug into here to go to the laptop so that way you can tune it with your you know your computer laptop whatever it has this is this is the control uh, it has like a standard phone jack like it plugs in plugs into here on the uh, DSP this is actually really neat it lights up blue all these dots around the edge light up blue the screen lights up blue if you click it it lets you have like once it's set once you have it set say you set it with your computer or whatever and you use this while you're out and about it lets you f it, when you click it click through your six saved presets it lets you have six presets saved in it so that's however you want your sound to, uh, to be you can adjust it for one preset and then you know adjust whatever presets you want and when you do you just click through them like that and then you have your gain and your volume control whatever that ends up being I suppose and then there's the power power brick for it so that's that's all in there that's what I'm gonna be working on here shortly in the next couple days all right trappers this is what we picked up we have some more RCA uh, splitters we have a uh, couple uh, female to mail out two of those I picked this one up because I wasn't quite sure honestly if I would need it or not so I just it's good that kind of stuff's good to have on hand and when I go in I usually buy whatever they have but I really think I'll just need these two for now and uh, these two that I already have uh, let's see these are audio pipe uh, RCA's high performance auto accessories it says and it's just uh, let's see there we go guys that's what we got so you can see the price tag on it seven eight bucks and these are these are ten feet so these should be plenty long enough for what I need I should have some slack but they're not like having the set of 20 footers in and I picked up three sets of those for now I figured that's what I need so that stuff will help us there with the DSP project uh, we'll get this DSP in and hopefully we can get that tuned in so it sounds pretty good before we go um, this thing really is incredible guys uh, once I get it installed and I show you what I'm doing a little more I'll take some more clips of what I got going on in the stages so you'll be able to watch those here in the next few clips probably this same episode I don't know how I'll edit it you'll be able to watch and go along with me as I, I do this we'll go ahead and get it figured out but the tuning is the main thing is getting it tuned in It's very in-depth in the way it's set up so I want to make sure that things are right and everything's in order make sure I'm getting a good sound out of it getting the most out of what it is we're gonna check that out guys get this going we'll see you in the next clip it is cold as heck out here we stand out like bird shit on a black shoe